Hey YouTube, it's me! Surprise! It has been a hot minute since I've made a video. Um, I know I came to you guys a week ago at the lake telling you that I was doing good and I was planning on making a video, so here I am. Uh, so this week is my week 60 post-op surgery video. I had to actually go back and count um, the weeks because I didn't realize, I didn't even know where I was. I mean, I knew I was just after, you know, out of a year, um, post-op, but I didn't realize where I was in the chart. So let's do numbers. And then, um, for those of you who want to click off and, you know, not hear all the, my babbling, you know, you can do that, but let me get to the numbers first. So, um, let's start all the way. I haven't like done like a rundown of my stats, like in a, forever. So, um, I am 27 years old. I had gastric bypass surgery in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico with Dr. Hoya. And I started my journey at 273 pounds. And the last time I came to you guys with an update, which was my week 51 post-op video, I was 161.2 pounds. And today I am 156.2 four pounds. So between so between 51 and 60 I've lost a total of 4.8 pounds and a total loss since my surgery of 116.6 pounds. Oh, I, I actually haven't um, done the numbers either in a long time. So seeing the 116.6 pounds total loss is pretty awesome. Um, I don't miss it. I don't miss being that weight um, at all. So that also puts me at 1.4 pounds away from my goal weight of 155 pounds and a couple other numbers. Um, my body fat percentage is at 23 pounds. 23 pounds. See, I'm stuck in the pounds. 23%. So that puts me into... Um, into the athletic category for fat percentage, which is mind-boggling to me because I have never thought of myself as an athletic person. So that's pretty darn cool. And then my BMI is at 23.8, which again is amazing because when I started this journey, my, my BMI, I believe, was close to 42. So that's a pretty significant drop in my um, BMI, which I am at a completely normal BMI at this point. So that is awesome. So those are the numbers. That's, oh, and I didn't tell you guys, or I've told you before, but I am um, five foot eight, if that has any bearing on, on those numbers. I think it kind of does. So where have I been? Why haven't I been making videos? A lot of times when people stop making videos, it's because they've kind of fallen off the wagon. They don't want to be accountable for what's happened. And I am happy to say that that's not the case with me. I have just been busy. And um, if you want the true, like, let me give you an excuse, and that's all it is, this is an excuse. We got a new camera a while ago, and um, it just takes extra steps to video the camera, or use the camera to video, upload it to the computer, um, edit it on the computer, and then upload it. And then our upload speed is like, molasses so it's like forever in a day um it, it is just pure uh excuse but it's a lot harder and more steps than just filming it on my ipad or my iphone which by the way says that i have no more storage seriously that's ridiculous um so anyways that's like why i haven't been making a video videos lately um but i really do want to come back to doing more consistent videos for a number of reasons. Um, not because I feel like it, it does keep me accountable, absolutely, but not that I feel like I um, am doing poorly or I'm messing up or I'm screwing up, but because the stage where I'm at now, I am almost at maintenance. Um, and technically, I am within my maintenance range, which I have been working through these numbers because I wasn't sure. When you get to maintenance, a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to maintain a 10 pound weight loss, you know, so if I get to the high end, then it's like time to kick it back into gear. Um, I've decided that mine is going to be a five pound window. There is no reason for me to allow myself to get 10 pounds heavier than where I am. It has taken me, and if you guys look back, it has taken me for just 
10 pounds, it's over like three and four months now to lose 10 pounds. I'm not going to let myself get 10 pounds heavier and then say, oh, now it's time to get back on the wagon. So mine's a five, mine's a five pound range. So technically I'm in my maintenance range. I just haven't reached goal yet. So I can't call goal yet. I am still super motivated. I'm still pushing very hard for goal. It just is taking a long time now to lose the last little bit of weight that I have. Um, so let me think where I want to go from here. Okay, so I want to make the videos, one, because I miss being making these videos. I miss kind of staying a little bit more involved in the community. I've still been watching you guys' videos. Um, I watch at least one or two YouTube videos every day still. It's just something that has become routine for me and, so, and a way for me to still keep weight loss on my, for, on my mind because that's when I start tripping up is if I'm, if I'm not somehow being involved, whether it be watching YouTube videos or making the videos myself. The other reason I want to make these videos is because I feel like, honestly, for the last little bit, there hasn't been much to talk about. It has been the most monotonous, <laughs> like, level portion of my life. I mean, weight loss, I've been working out, I've been eating right, I've been, you know, drinking, I've been doing drinking water, drink, um, taking my vitamins. I've been doing all of those things we're supposed to do, but the weight loss is just super slow. So I really haven't had a lot to tell you guys, but I feel like I'm coming to a point that is completely uncharted territory for me. I have never maintained my weight ever. I can't even remember a point in my life where I may wait. I may have maintained my weight for like a month. I can't even remember that. So what I'm about to be starting into is completely uncharted territory. And I have a feeling for most of us, this is the battle. We've lost weight before. I mean, I've fluctuated. I know personally I have fluctuated from 80 pounds to 20 pounds to 30 pounds of weight loss throughout my life, but I've never maintained it. So this is the part where is uncharted territory for me. So that's what I want to be doing. I want to be talking about maintenance and how is that working in a in me I, I mean I have no clue this is all new um I feel like I have come up with systems and routines and things that have worked for me thus far to be 156 pounds I feel like I've I've made changes and there's things in my life that have changed that are really deep rooted issues, things that I never thought I would get over, dealing with food addiction and that kind of thing. So that's, I kind of want to come back and do videos on those kind of things that I've been learning and um, tips and solutions I found that work for me to maybe continue to help you guys get to your ultimate goal weight. So I am going to get off of here because this is turning into a very long video. I did want to just do an official update weigh-in video and I'm going to try to be doing these videos more consistently for you guys with updates but more with um, what's going on, how I've been dealing with my food addiction in a realistic way that's working for me. So I am happy to be back. I've missed you guys. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Keep making those good choices and I'll see you soon. Bye.